Good morning, it's Monday 23rd of January and this is just a very quick update on the U Doubled project. Uh, I'll try and keep it short because what I really want to specifically talk about is, uh, is the next stage of bringing people onto the site and how I want to do that and why I'm uh, holding back on open registrations right now, apart from the specific sober blackout day. Uh, the first thing to say is, of course, that just to repeat a welcome that I've already made, welcome those of you who are already on. There are one or two people who may come, still come on over the next couple of days because the last round of invitations which you provided for me, uh, recommendations for me, that they haven't all been responded to. So it may be that, that we do get a little trickle of people who've been invited, that you've invited, uh, joining yet. Uh, but as I say, open invitations, I won't uh, open, a bigger pardon, open registrations I don't want to make possible until I've got the system whereby they become part of the community absolutely nailed down. It's, it's nearly there still, I keep saying that. One. It is nearly there, but I do think it's important to get that. Uh, the reason for that being, this is um, one of the central ideas of this site, which perhaps distinguishes it from, from other sites, particularly YouTube, is that it's an experiment in kind of social engineering as well as uh, software engineering. The, the, the way that the society works here, the set of communities work here, is really, really important to how it develops. Because without a top-down uh, management system, without a top-down policing system, and um, all the, and you know reviewing system, without any of those kind of infrastructures, which we don't want and haven't got, if, absent those, we have to be able to do those ourselves, and we can only do that within small-scale trust networks, which is the way I need to build it. Uh, okay, so that's the preamble. There's the, the main uh, topic of conversation really is it's just two bits of news really and these are both to do with community building and um, and the, ne the next round of bringing people into the site before we open it up fully uh, and there's two little strategies I want to try with that I don't know if they'll work or not again they're just experiments but let's see if we can work together to see if we can get this to work the first is uh, what I'm thinking of is kind of satellite communities I'll give the logic for that and I'll tell you how I'm going to do it at the moment, the way the, the, the small community here on U Doubled is so far, 30 or 40, 50 people don't know something like that, maybe a few more by now. Um, it's relatively homogeneous. It's a, there's a lot of the atheist community on here, a lot of the kind of science, technical kind of community on here. It's relatively, you know, everybody, can, most people kind of know a lot of other people on here already. So it's, it's, it's homogeneous. And because of that, it's quite difficult, I suspect, for individuals who are from very different kinds of communities, who are different, very different aesthetics or different belief systems or different sets of ideas about what constitutes good behavior. Although individuals like that would find it quite difficult to enter this community right now, individually. But they may be able to enter it uh, as, as a small community themselves if there's a community pre-established. So what I want to try to do is, is to work with that process. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create what I'm thinking of as a satellite community which means I'm going to make another, a, a clone of this site, but attached to this site. So it does everything that this site does, but it's um, targeted at a particular community. It'll probably have the, the URL, you know, uw.com forward slash, and then the name of the community. And someone will be allocated to be the moderator of that community, and will perhaps try to encourage a few people to get on board with that, maybe just half a dozen people, just so I can start to get a little community attached to but having its own space to work within. Uh, it'll have its own database, it'll have its own systems of regulation, again all working within the overall framework of the law of course, uh, and, we'll, and, and let that build for a while. And then at some point in the future, if it feels like it's going to work to do this, we'll simply merge the communities together. So we could just literally merge the databases in that case, so that community takes up residence within the UW community as a whole. If, that, if it doesn't feel like that's right, we won't do it. Or if, it, if we feel that we want to um, keep these things close but not actually um, touching one another, we can do that. And we can make it so that these two databases are searchable at the same time, or you can search within this local satellite community, that kind of thing. So I want to see if that will work. That's the first thing. And I've approached one or two people to consider whether they'd be willing to think about that. If, if you've got a community, by the way, on that, that or you represent a community, or you're you feel um, that there is a community out there that you are part of that you would like to experiment with, do please get in touch with me because there are lots of communities on YouTube, you know, the pagans and the Christians and the anarchists and the statists and there's lots and lots of communities which um, ha do have a real identity and you know may find that they want to have that identity 
formed and uh, and made more real within within something like the U double system. It, so if you are if you do represent one of those communities and you'd like to play around with this system and, and have a little satellite yourself for a while to see how that goes, do get in touch and I'll set that up for you. Uh, or did, we'll discuss it. That's nice to do that. I probably promised that much, just in case. Um, okay, so that's the first thing, satellite communities. The second thing is the next round of invitations. Uh, prior to the, as I say, the opening of the doors to all comers, I do want to take the, the degree of separation at one more stage and, uh, and, and ask for those people who are on the site at the moment, the U-doublers are on here now, to uh, send me their recommendations for the next round of invitation. Just send me a half dozen names, three or four names, something like that, that, uh, that you would want to bring online. You can either approach them first and ask them if they want to be involved, or if you don't want to do that, just tell me and I'll just send the invitation out anonymous. You know, you can be anonymous in that process, relatively anonymous in that process. Uh, two things about that, though. The first thing, if you are in inviting someone, and I hope you do, think would you be prepared to acknowledge that relationship once they're on here? Or, you know, are they a kind of friend to the extent that you know you put out a friend request for them and have them accept it? You know, it, it, whatever that means to you. That's the first thing to note. That the second thing, and this is a little bit of a challenge, if if you do take up this offer and, and, and want to invite people. I'd ask you to see how far you can push that invitation away from your comfort zone. See if you can think of someone to invite who you would really want to be on the site, but that you don't necessarily agree with. I mean, there's already people on here who I don't really have an awful lot in common with, but I'm really glad they're here. It's a community made up of differences, not just similarities. So um, I would invite you to try and do the same. Think of someone on YouTube. Maybe you've had an interaction with them in the past and and whilst, it, whilst there's a lot of disagreement between you, you kind of trust them to operate the site in the way it's supposed to be. You know they're not going to drop docs, you know they're not going to make sock accounts and, and do horrible things with that. You know that they're not going to upload loads of copyrighted material and, and it, you, you, you kind of trust them to that respect, even though you may not um, have any, anything particular in common with them. So if there's someone like that that you would like to bring on, let's see if we can you know, just push it a wee bit rather than just staying too close. Okay? There's other things to talk about. I'll make a separate video about that, but this is particularly about communities. So just to recap, I want to set up satellite communities. So if you want to try to set one up, let get in touch. Secondly, give me your invitations for the next round of people you want to bring on and see how far away from your own comfort zone you can extend your invitational powers. Okay, thanks very much.